19 Democratic senators, at least, are now calling for Menendez to resign following the three-count federal indictment implicating him in a bribery scheme. Joining us now, Steve Adubato, New York Jersey-based political analyst. He's also a former Democratic New Jersey state legislator, as well as the author of Lessons in Leadership 2.0, The Tough Stuff. Steve, thanks for coming on the show. Would we be seeing Democrats line up against Menendez if it was a Republican who was going to be doing the choosing of who takes his place? Look, Chris Christie, if he were uh, the governor, it probably would be different. But let's be candid about the case. I'm not a lawyer. You are. You're the expert. But this looks way worse when the feds are able to show those gold bars and three hundred or four hundred and eighty thousand dollars, the cash stuff. Well, it was really because in Castro back in Cuba, we had to hide our money. First of all, he was born in New York, not Cuba. That's number one. Number two, it looks so bad for Menendez. The Dems don't want to lose that seat. He's obviously holding on to the seat because it's a chit that he can play with the feds. Again, I'll defer to you on the legal yep. process. But the bottom line is Dems and Republicans need to be, quote, more consistent, less convenient with who they point I, the finger at and who they say is not. I, I agree with you office. on that. But on the political side, I think Menendez is going to survive this politically because the Dems know that calling for him to, to resign doesn't cost them anything. Right. It just allows them to be able to say, you see, you see, we called for him to step down. No one's going to force him to step out. Same way no one's going to force George Santos to step out. Maybe you're right, Dan. And there is nothing for the Dems to lose because he's so weak right now. He, he has to give up the chairmanship based on Senate rules immediately of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He's got no juice, as we say, in New Jersey. Yeah. So, yes, there is no danger there. But the bottom line is this for the Democrats and Republicans. Just be cons the Santos thing. What a joke. This guy's a clown. He lied every which yeah. way about all kinds of things that he didn't need to lie about and things that were important. And why is Kevin McCarthy and why are the Republicans not chastising him publicly? Because they need the vote yeah. in a narrow majority well, for that's the my lower concern. house. My concern is that both Democrats and Republicans are looking to whether they need the vote first. Steve Adubato, thank you. Good to see you again, Steve. Great to see you, Dan.